COVID-19 disease according to Ayurveda. Dear friends, in this video, uh, I am going to uh, just compare Corona like virus or COVID-19 like disease whether it has been explained in our ancient science like Ayurveda. Uh, dear friends, my name is Dr. C. D. Raviraj. I am practicing as an Ayurvedic physician in Shimoga, Karnataka. Dear friends, Ayurveda is based on three doshas, Saptadatus and Agni. Three doshas means Vata, Pitta and Kapha. Sapta dhatus means those are the different types of tissues as explained in Ayurveda Rasa, Rakta, Mamsa, Medha, Asti, Majja and Shukra and finally the Agni or digestive power which is very very important which is explained in Ayurveda. The main cause for any kind of disease is imbalance or vitiation or decrease in the Agni. Dear friends, all these uh, doshas that is which is also called as an invisible humors as explained in ayurveda vata pitta and kapha these doshas should be in the sama pramana or equilibrium pramana dhatus means the sapta dhatu seven tissues should be in equilibrium manner and even the agni should be appropriate to be or to state a person to be healthy so all these are based on Pancha Mahabhuta Siddhanta. See whether the external parts, whether the earth or the uh, different things which we daily use for, for uh, um, natural being purpose, for a human being. Oh. So these Prithvi, Apteja, Vayu, Akasha which are explained as Pancha Mahabhutas which are, it is uh, the any things which, which is uh, usually present over the earth are made up of these Panchamahabhutas and even our human body is structured based on the Panchamahabhuta. For example, our tears are made up of, uh, in the Panchamahabhuta we can take it as Jala. Prithvi Aap means Jala, means a liquid. So, bone is made up of the uh, Prithvi, means the hard part, hard things in the body is made up of Prithvi. So, all these uh, three doshas, saptadatus, agni should be in equilibrium stage uh, for a healthy individual. Any disturbance in the equilibrium of these entities causes a disease. And if there is any difference in these entities, definitely there is a possibility of a manifestation or a lakshana in the body. For example, if there is an increased vata, I am going to tell about a single entity that is increased vata. There is a shloka, Kasha Kashna Gatra Kampas Purana Ushna Kamitva Sauna Nidrana Shabalaindra Upagata Asti Shosha Majja Shosha Malasanga Adma Natapa Moha Daina Pralapadur Doya Pudenti. Like any kind of uh, lakshanas that tells about the imbalance in the dosha that is for example, I will explain a few things about this shloka, Karsha, Kasna, Gatra Kampa. See, Gatra Kampa is the fine tremors which is uh, usually caused by the increased Vata, Vata Dosha. And Karsha, this is emaciation or a person becomes thin when there is increased vata which Ayurveda says. See the disequilibrium of these doshas causes some manifestations in the body. So based on the manifestations in the body, the disease has been explained in Ayurveda. This is the simple technique and simple thing I am going to tell about this Ayurveda. Ayurveda is a complex science which cannot be explained in few minutes in this video. I am giving a simple uh, example of such kind of uh, manifestations which is explained in Ayurveda. In Ayurveda classics like Charaka Samhita, there is a chapter Vimanasthana that is a specific sthana. So in that uh, chapter third of Vimanasthana, the contagious disease, the spread of contagious disease from one person to another has been explained. The first and foremost thing which transmits 
uh, from one person to another person. It is called as Janapada Udvamsa. So, which I will, I am going to tell about this Janapada Udvamsa in my next uh, upcoming videos. So, in Ayurveda, uh, this COVID-19 disease or coronavirus caused fever can be compared to Vata and Kapha, predominant uh, entities and predominant uh, components. So, this combination of Vata uh, Lakshanas and Kapha Lakshanas are usually uh, seen in this fever. So, I am going to tell why this Vata and Kapha we can consider in this fever. See, in COVID-19 uh, till today, according to the clinical studies, and uh, clinical researches, uh, what ha whatever have been done, there is a specific clinical manifestation. The patient will be having a running nose, uh, uh, cough, fever, uh, severe body ache. And uh, this body ache can be uh, compared with uh, vata dosha because wherever there is a vata, there is a pain. And, Pratishaya, which is explained, means the running nose, which is explained in Ayurveda, it is always contributed to Kapha dosha. And Shvasa and Kasa means difficulty in breathing and cough, which is explained in Ayurveda, will be contributed or attributed to Kapha dosha. So, this is a Vataja and Kaphaja combination viral disease. Uh, See, this disease uh, can be attributed to the Janapada Dvamsa Vikar, I am going to tell about this Janapada Dvamsa in my next uh, mm. few minutes. Dear friends, there are different factors which are very common inhibitants of, inhibitants of a country. That is the air, the water, the location and the seasons. So, these uh, important things are very common in all the different parts of the country, which is well explained in uh, Vimanasthana uh, of Charaka Samhita, that is third chapter of Vimanasthana, that is sixth shloka, uh, explains about these uh, factors. So, now I am going to tell about the Janapada Dvamsa. What exactly is Janapada Dvamsa? See, Janapada Dvamsa is a situation where the environment like air, water, land, seasons are usually vitiated causing a simultaneous manifestation of a disease along among a large population. Not only a single family or area, the entire the country uh, or the entire uh, area, the entire population will be affected destroying the human habitation. This is very scientifically explained in Ayurveda, Charaka Samhita, Vimanasthana, third chapter. Remember this, you have a reference for this. So, this is termed as epidemic and pandemic which crosses every each and every borders of the countries. So, Janapada Dvamsa, like uh, a sloka has been explained, I will just convert into English language and I am going to tell about this sloka meaning. See, the skin disease, skin diseases, not skin disease, skin diseases, uh, fever, conjunctivitis and all the contagious disease spreads from one person to another person by how? Beautifully explained, scientifically explained in Ayurveda. By indulgence in the bodily contact means touching, uh, touching the skin or giving a shake hand to the person through the breath, directly contact through the breath, eating together, eating with uh, other people in the same plate, sharing of bed means if a person is infected and he shares the bed with another individual who is healthy. And if he shares the same seat of the infected person uh, and even through the clothes, the one once the person, the infected person wearing a cloth and that clothes if he shared to the another person and the ornaments, see the ornaments still scientifically not explained in, in modern science but Ayurveda still says 
maybe i don't know in future days this ornaments and cosmetics can be added for in this list of pandemic at contagious uh, entities or the factors so ayurveda is so scientific we have to understand this in charaka uh, vimanasthanatha chapter this uh, pandemic or uh, janapada dwamsa has been beautifully explained like example of the like skin diseases are okay um, leprosy see the scabies sarcoptes scabies this parasite spreads from one person to another person okay uh, the fever like mm. um um like kasnur forest disease maybe kasnur forest disease like h1n1 or like the diseases like now the, the latest disease like covid-19 sars cov-19 or any other advanced fevers in the upcoming days this has been beautifully explained and all these things passes from one person to another person through direct touching through the breath breath and eating with us in the same plate sharing the bed sharing the seats sharing the clothes ornaments and cosmetics it is it is a social distancing which has been explained in ayurveda 4000 years ago not now the social distancing is not told now so this by this we have to understand that such kind of fever controls get controls only by only one thing that is which is now the who and all the scientists are now actually they are telling to maintain this social distancing which has been explained in ayurveda 4000 year back only with this social distancing we can prevent such epidemic disease or pandemic diseases now i am going to explain about the uh, pathophysiology which is compared to the covid-19 according to ayurveda how ayurveda tells about the pathophysiology of such kind of viral disease see here in ayurveda we tell about the roga marga so as we know there are different types of so, roga marga in abhyantara roga marga is one of the roga marga or the pathway of the disease as explained in the ashtanga hrudayam uh which is a classic in ayurveda in this covid-19 fever roga marga is always abhyantara means internal uh as the jwara shwasa and kasa means jwara means fever shwasa means the respiratory distress difficulty in breathing and kasa means the cough the three major symptoms of covid-19 belong to this marga and second thing this is the first roga marga which is abhyantara internally seated and second is the shrotas we tell about ayurveda people tell about the different types of shrotas here the vitiated shrotas in this covid-19 is always a pranavaha shrot shrotas there is a pranavaha shroto dushti uh, which is explained in vimanasthana 5th chapter 7th shloka of charaka samhita see so it is observed in this disease that because of the respiratory complications and organ different uh, multiple organ failures uh, there is uh, there is a damage to the different organs and finally the patient may succumb to the death so this is what a pranavaha shrotas do pranavaha shrotas protects the individual's life so when there is an affect afflicted pranavaha shrotas definitely the patient succumb or die so stana of or the seat of the disease is the chest or urus which is explained in ayurveda and uh, when we compare which type of jwara is this uh, is this covid-19 explained in ayurveda we tell that this may be this may be compared to the nija jwara which is once again a vata kapha predominant or agantuja jwara means a external entity Uh, which we call as an external body the bhuta which comes to the body or a person contact that is called as agantuja means the external factor causes a disease which is once again a vata and kapha predominance it is explained in once again explained in charaka samhita chikitsa sthana third chapter and 92nd shloka and even 128 and 129 129 shlokas so this jwara can be once again classified as agantuja or external 
uh, factor disease um, which aggravates not only the vata and pitta kapha it also aggravate vata uh, vata and kapha not only the vata and kapha it also aggravate vata pitta kapha all the three doshas since all the three doshas are aggravated it is labeled as sannipata jajwara means sannipata means combination of all the three doshas the spread and transmission caused with the virus in this jwara can be understood in ayurveda under the bhuta abhishanga classification according to ayurveda Agantu Jajwara can be treated as a Nijajwara, which is once again Vata and Kapha Jajwara caused by the disturbance in the Dosha, which is explained in the Sutra Sthana, 19th chapter, 7th Sloka of Chikitsa Sthana and Chikitsa Sthana, 3rd chapter, 128th Sloka. So now uh, directly I am going to move how this disease or fever can be managed according to Ayurveda. See, uh, Ayurveda tells about the different Churna, Kashayas, Asavaristas and Nasyakarma etc. There are different uh, Samshamana Aushadas uh, which is explained in Ayurveda to control the Doshas. The main and important uh, freely available Churna is Sudarshana Churna. So, this Sudarshana Churna has a capacity to elevate or pacify all the three Doshas. Uh, this Sudarshan Churna actually reduces the different types of fever like Nijajura, Agantuja Jura and Sanipata Juras, which is very much useful in the COVID-19 patients. And the patients can also take the and the practitioners can also give Danvantara Gutika. These two tablets three times daily, uh, usually in the adults uh, and uh, two tablets twice, di- uh, twice daily in the children's about 12 years and one tablet twice daily from the age of 1 year to the age of 16 years can be given. Uh, and this Danvantri Gutika usually causes the Vata Anulomana which makes the Vata to flow in this position which causes the decrease in the Shwasa or the wheezing. So there is a simple Churna, once again there is, it is called as a Thalisadi Churna which is usually used for the Jura Shwasa, Kasa, Aruchi means a simple cough, cold, uh, fever, wheezing etc. And even it improves the indigestion which is usually commonly seen in COVID-19 patients and it does deepen a chikitsa which stimulates the digestive capacity which improves the Agni in the uh, COVID-19 patients. So apart from all these different medications and this medication dosage usually fixed by an Ayurveda practitioner Go to a Ayurveda practitioner, ask him for the different medicines as told by uh, these classicals and then you can ask for the dosage if you are in a confusion. So apart from this, regularly every individual now in this pandemic state state has to build up their body and keep their their tissues well uh, by doing regular exercise. An important thing which everybody has to take is Chavana Prasha. Chavana Prasha, uh, it nourishes each and every dosh dhatus, I said sapta dhatus, rasa rakta mamsa medha asti manja shukra, all these dhatus are nourished by chavana parasha. Even in the respiratory conditions in COVID-19 patients, the lungs will be damaged. For the lungs to protect, be, to be protected, this chavana parasha is very much helpful. Don't forget to take this chavana parasha. So, Haridra with Sainthavulavana seizes the viral application. Haridra with Sainthavulavana can be taken through the steam inhalation, can be taken orally with the milk and Limbuka Swarasada garling means in a warm water you should add 3 to 5 drops of lemon juice and just gargle it uh, in the morning, in the afternoon and even the evening like 3 to 4 times in a day which reduces the viral load in the throat and it reduces the alveolar, alveolar complications. So the steam inhalation as uh, now the researchers are going on the high temperature in the steam actually reduces the congregation and airway blockages and it also reduces the viral load in the respiratory tract. And apart from this, which is practiced uh, uh, from since the decades, this heart water garling is to be practiced from each and every individual from, from all the age group. Apart from this, just um, to be, to prevent yourself from the complications, uh, you have to improve your lifestyle regularly, do physical exercise, quit smoking, quit alcohol, uh, 
uh, avoid outside foods junk foods eat healthy and light food according to your hunger don't go to rush to your uh, food uh, without hunger drink plenty of water do regular exercise as i said and avoid stress stress is very important just avoid stress always stay enthusiastic speak actively speak positive about the people don't speak negative or negative things should be avoided dear friends this is regarding the covid 19 uh, disease which can be compared uh, according to ayurveda uh, thank you for watching um, uh, this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you are really liking this video just uh, hit on the like button uh, in the next video i'll be uh, coming with a very uh, interesting topics and thank you all namaste